Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So two cards fell out off camera when I was shuffling uh, for you guys. And uh, the question that I had on my mind when I was shuffling was... Um, what does spirit want to tell the Aquarius? And it looks like occupation and great fortune came out for the Aquarius. So for some of you who work for yourself, you do independent work, contractor work, you do work that you love to do. You know, um, it is something that uh, has always been with you. Something that you do away from a corporation, a job, a company. You're going to be fortunate at this but the universe wants you to make whatever this is your main you know your main um source of income your main focus right now it seems as if it went, once you do that then you can have great fortune for, so for my people who work independently or want to work independently do know that if you make this your main focus you put all your time all your effort behind this you will have great fortune, okay? That things will mature for you. Um, new opportunities, new doors will open up to you. Wow. Um, it looks like you will come to a level of commitment with this um, this new occupation, this new job, this self-employment. Um, in one to two years, you'll have a, a book of clients or a you know a book of customers or you'll. You know, definitely making maybe petty money will be over. Like you'll make some really big money in one to two years once you establish your business yourself. But you have to get started on it. Yeah, you're going to be, you're going to get a lot of esteem, a lot of, um, you know, public recognition for just some high quality work that you're doing. Your life is going to change all by your doing and your hand. So that's the message for some of you who work for yourself or you want to work for yourself. It's saying, look, just get started and be committed to it. And you'll see a turnaround in your entire lifestyle. Um, all right. So love. Some of you could be looking at the past or the past is looking at you wanting to reconcile uh, because you look really good nine of pentacles um and you kind of closed off your heart to something that didn't really manifest the way you wanted it to you decided to put more effort into you some of you are doing a lot just to meet new people or somebody's thinking about you over and over again yeah somebody wants things back the way they used to be it looks like there could be another chance between you and someone else um, it's like the universe separated you two so that you can fix you and they can fix them and then possibly come back together and um, have some victory. And then for some of you, somebody wants, you know, another chance. They want you to give them another chance, uh, but they might want things to be the same, the status quo. So it may, they may have not changed. Okay. Um, you got Scorpio coming up heavy. You could have children with this Scorpio. Um, this person is real balanced right now. This person has a lot of secrets that they kept from you. A lot of emotions that they didn't express. Um, this person is thinking of you. Wanting to return. Or wanting you to return. Yeah, wanting to work on the connection. With the three of pentacles they see that it's best with you or you know their best effort was with you yeah and they have a big you know cup of love for you they like they love you a lot but there could have been little progression nothing really turned into anything it was just you know yes we love each other there's a friendship there's a soulmate type of situation but it just never really progresses. So it looks like you, Aquarius, Six of Swords, um, decided to move on and really release this. You just had to make sense of it and saying, look, it's just 
doesn't make sense to continue to show up for this relationship when I'm not getting what I want. Um, it's time to let it die. You got the blackbirds in there. Could be crows if you, you know. But, um, yeah, it's, it's time to let this, you know, end. Uh, Six of Swords, it's time to move on, forgive, release the past. Um, it just makes sense in the Six of Swords. And, and also, for some of you, it could be moving on because you didn't get what you wanted. So it's kind of like maybe a little shame or guilt is is associated with this moving on but it's like okay whatever i have to get over this what else can we tell the aquarius christmas is significant will be significant significant for you was significant maybe christmas this past christmas yeah maybe you oh geez maybe you realize that you were a side chick or that somebody had a side chick maybe around christmas christmas somebody got loud or somebody said something or Maybe somebody get, called you or DM'd you or text you and let you know that you were a side chick or that they are the side chick or whatever, the side dude. It's just like um, maybe something was crystal clear for you and somebody's behavior was erratic around the holiday season. Uh, you couldn't pin them down. Wow. They they couldn't talk to you after 8 p.m. Yeah, you realize that. Um Ooh, they were talk when they did talk to you, they were talking to you real soft. So they maybe were in the house with um their significant other. You realize that something was off. Yeah, it's hard to handle this person. Uh it was hard to get a handle on this relationship. Um, so for some of you it's like best to move on. Yeah, promises were made. Maybe you stayed with this person because they were resourceful. They said that they were divorcing or they would divorce. Maybe you decided to divorce this situation. You know, you decided to go your own way. Um, yeah, it's just it's just more so maybe you didn't get what you wanted out of a situation. Now this person is looking at you, you know, wanting to come back. Yeah, they think now they see you as a good idea. You're the best. Yeah. You're the best choice here. And now they're kind of obsessed with you. I stare at your picture for hours. I'm obsessed. Um, they're only obsessed now or wanting you back because you're you're away from them. So keep that in mind. Let's see. So this person, they're more so focused on how you make them feel. You make them feel happy. They like you. They like your hugs, your kisses, but they're horrible placing value on things. They didn't value you. You know, they just valued how you made them feel, but they didn't really see you. This person is hard headed. Like they just can't see. And they're, yeah. Or they, they feel like they're going to be, well, some of them are being very stubborn right now. Maybe not reaching out to you. You're not reaching out to them. Somebody's in the friend zone. Could be the feminine is not reaching out to the masculine or vice versa. Yeah, the feminine is saying I'm not going to compromise. I'm no compromise and and no reconciliation. Um, I won't reconcile right now. Um, or I'm trying to reconcile things in my mind right now. Like it's a lot to deal with. What is the final energy for Aquarius here? Okay. Yeah, so just flipped over. Do the smart thing. Right now, the energy between you and your person is suspended. So it's not exactly over for some of you. But it, you ha it had to get suspended because you were being a doormat or somebody was being a doormat. Yeah. Um, somebody was just unkind. And they, they have to see that, or they, they only could see that with you away from them. Now, you can't really see, yeah, wow. They can only get clarity or see clear, you know, without the theatrics, without you around, or vice versa. Yeah. Now they're getting some understanding that maybe they need to grow up. There needs to be some growth. You were the sweet person. You are, you did show up in some you know it's genuine now this person is realizing that they are miserable they're miserable without you but they're trying to cover it up 
some of you or people could be in a situation where there is a beard. It has something to do with their sexuality. But this is also saying I'm miserable, um, but I'm not going to reach out to you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to be miserable, maybe suffering in silence there. Um, yeah, this person looked at you as security. It's like you, you are always going to be there. Let's get you some advice moving forward. So we know that if, especially if you work for yourself or you want to work for yourself, things look great. Um, you just need to get started. You need to be focused on that. It, it can really work out for you. Um, you've separated from a past individual, recent past person, and now they're wanting you back just because you're gone. Also, they, they are now seeing clearly what you meant to them or what you are or your value. Okay, What is the advice for Aquarius moving forward? So the cards want you to know you're stronger than you know, okay? You can do this. You can stay away. You can walk away. Self-care. Put more time, energy, effort into you. Do something for you. Pamper yourself. Windfall. Woo, woo. All right. The money is coming, Aquarius. The good luck. The energy is coming. Let's see. One more. Okay. Be true to you. Okay, so some of you are pushing your feelings down, you're pushing your desires down because you feel like you just don't know how it can work or how it would ever work. So you're not being true to you. Um, yeah, you've got some decisions to make uh, in love and romance. Excuse me, I said love and romance. In love and finance. <laughs> so um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below again thank you aquarius have a really good weekend